I, I mean, very much so, actually. And I don't think we should underestimate the viewer. Because I know from personal experience, people that will cross cities to go and see film projected as film. I mean, because the experience is different. And yeah. I know that's exactly what... I mean, you all know about the Dunkirk screening. I was just giving that example. 70mm Dunkirk screening in IMAX Madala and 35mm Interstellar at Liberty. It took 10 minutes, just 10 minutes, for the tickets to be sold because it was just about 70 mm. People want to experience to see a film the way the creator had created it originally. And I think that's the respect which we must have and we must feel for it. So, here you are. I think Chris wants to add to that. It's also a good film. Give me a break. <laughs> 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 no, I, th I think uh, it's exactly the point, which is uh, I work in, in a field uh, where the audience is constantly being underestimated by people who finance the films and distribute the films. There's often a feeling of nobody cares and nobody knows the difference. And, and actually, when you talk about myths to be dispelled, I think the main myth is when this discussion has arisen in the past about why somebody would choose to shoot film, even if it seems more difficult than, than shooting digitally. They speak as if filmmaking were a, a logical and a pragmatic yeah. thing to do, and it's not. And no film is logical and pragmatic. Films are about dreams, they're about magic, they're about escapism and, and experience. And so, to a certain extent, you have to embrace your emotional side and your feelings about the medium, and whether you want to work that way or, or not work that way. Those things become, become important. And I think we see that just as much from audiences as we do from, from filmmakers. We're constantly in dialogue with audiences. Indeed, we are the audience ourselves. And uh, we forget that at our peril. In, in some way, I feel uh, not enough choice has been given to the audience too in India. They, yeah. they, they don't have, I mean, really, if you really want to see a film on 35mm or 70mm, where do you go and see it? And that's what we, that was the whole point of the dialogue. The two, make that space available to see whether exhibitors can come forward, where they could be. You know, I was just before uh, Tasta got in touch with me, I was in constant dialogue to have 35 m screening in the preview theater of Liberty as a club where they can experience the 35 mm because we didn't have our own space. Uh, we don't have a museum or a space because we are a very young foundation. And uh, I think this dialogue will help that too sort of feature. Even the, even the NCP, where we are going to be talking, they have 35 mm screenings, they have 16 mm public projectors, but they haven't been working. And the inspiration we will get out of this is the fact that you will see them running back soon. So I think the viewers are going to get it. it, it it's going to change. And uh, we hopefully, this dialogue will help us to make it very soon. Well, I think making films is always about facing insurmountable, seemingly insurmountable odds. Anybody who tries out to go out and direct a film um, and has to get a budget, has to get a crew together, has to surmount all kinds of obstacles. And so I'm just trying to position uh, and empower filmmakers to, to view their choice of medium as one of the things that they have to fight for. Uh, and none of these fights are easy, uh, particularly when you're starting out, uh, but they're all worth fighting for, and they're all part of that tension and that process that filmmakers go through to tell the stories uh, that they want to tell. And I think some of that tension can actually be uh, productive because you're made to think about what's important to you and what you really care about. And what we want to see as filmgoers on screen are stories and presentations that the people who made them care deeply about.
Yeah, no, I, I think so. I mean, I felt very positive energy in the yeah. conversation from, from all aspects, particularly exhibition. Um, obviously, their frustration is that they get pulled in different directions and they're told to go digital because people want that, and then it's come back to film because people want that. Um, but I think the, uh, the enthusiasm and the excitement that everyone feels around films in, in this community uh, is vital and is what will allow great things to, to happen in this regard because ultimately it's about getting people together, getting them out of the house and giving them a, a fantastic uh, experience at the movies. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much.